Good morning. As requested, we will discuss about algebraic expression. Okay? So what is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression, okay, in mathematics is an expression, expression which is made up of variables and constants. Okay? Along with the algebraic expression which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay, so what is this variable? Okay, a variable is any letter or symbol that represents a number or for example, we can say a variable is a letter which says that A or B, X, Y, Z, they are variables. Okay, okay so how about constant? A constant is a number that does not change in the expression. How about the coefficient? Coefficient is a number multiplied or divided by a variable. For example, we have here an algebraic expression. Okay? Algebraic expression which is 5x minus 3. Okay? So in here, this is our coefficient. 5 is our coefficient, x is our variable, okay? and 3 or negative 3 is this one is our constant. Okay? Coefficient x as variable, 3 as constant. Now what is term? In uh, algebraic expression, terms is either a single number or variable or numbers and variables multiplied together okay so terms are separated by addition or subtraction only or by positive or negative signs only example, in this example 5x minus 3 okay in this expression how many terms do you see we have this one and this one separated by subtraction how many terms? We have one term, another term. This is our first term, second term. Okay, 5x is our first term, 3 is our second term. Okay. For example, I have here an example of an algebraic expression. If I have 5x, y, z, okay. how many terms is this one? This is only having what? One Term. How about if we have 5x plus 2? We have first term, second term, separated by addition, so it is 2 term. If we have 5x plus 2y plus c, this one, how many term? It is 1, 2, 3, so it is 3 term. Basically, terms are separated only by addition and subtraction. How do we evaluate algebraic expression? To find the value of an algebraic expression, okay, by substituting the value of x, which is, for example, we have here 5x plus t, or what is the value of this algebraic expression if x is equal to 2, x is equal to 5, and x is equal to negative 3. So what will we do? We evaluate the expression. We substitute the value of that x to the original expression or to the algebraic expression. Now for example, x is equal to 2. What you will do? You substitute 2 or you replace x as a value as 2. So it will become 5 times, 5 times x. And what is the value of x? It is 2. So 5 times 2 plus 3. And then 5 times 2 plus 3 answer. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 answer 13. How about if x is equal to 5? Just substitute. So 5 times x, so it's the value of x, 5 plus 3. Now, 5 times 5 plus 3 or 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 3, answer it is 28. How about if the value of x is negative 3? 
So 5 times negative 3 plus 3. So 5 times negative 3 answer negative 15 plus 3. Don't forget your addition of integers. Negative 10, negative 15 plus 3. What you will do? You subtract the numbers. Or if you are adding, unlike signs, okay, of numbers, just subtract the number. 15 minus 3 answer it is 12. And then you get the sign of the greater or the larger number. So what is the larger number between 15 and 3? It is 15. What is the sign of 15? It is negative. So it is negative 12. So simplifying algebraic expression. So how will we simplify algebraic expression? Okay, what you will do is combine like terms, combine like terms and complete all the operations needed. Like for example here, we have here an example, 5x plus 6 minus 4x. Now, where do, can you see like terms in this expression? So we have here 5x, 6, 4x. Okay, so we have here like terms, 5x and negative 4x. So what you will do, you combine like terms. So you rewrite 5x, what is the like term of 5x we have? minus 4x, and then we write this one, don't forget our 6 or our constant, plus 6. So 5x minus 4x, answer is x. Because 5 minus 4 is 1, and then just copy the variable, which is x, and then plus 6. So this is the simplified one of this expression. Okay, so we have here a rational algebraic expression. So how will you simplify this expression? Okay, so first thing, you first focus on numerator or you combine like terms in the numerator and also combine like terms in the denominator. As we can see in our numerator, we have m and m. So we have here this like term and we have also n and another like term. How about in the numerator or the denominator, I mean? Okay, we have A, A, they are like term, and also B, 2B, and B. Okay, the first thing, you rewrite. So here, 3M, what is the uh, like term or the term that is like by 3M? We have M, positive M, and then negative 6M, and then minus 3n. Okay, so what, we, what did we do? Did we do pinagsama po natin yung mga like terms? Like for example, 3n and then n. So pinagsama lang po natin dito. Negative 6n, negative 3n, pinagsama lang po natin. Pinagtabi lang po natin yung mga magkaparehas, the like terms. For us to easily evaluate or easily simplify them or easily combine them. Over we have here, pagsamahin din natin yung like terms, b positive 2b, okay, so b plus 2b, and then 3a minus a, okay, minus 3a minus a. Yan po, pinagsama po natin. Ngayon, ano yung gagawin? Combine like terms. So 3m plus m, answer it is 4m, okay? Minus 6n minus 3n, answer is okay, negative or negative 9n. Over this one, b plus 2b, answer 3b. Negative 3a minus a, answer negative 4a. So this is how we simplify this rational algebraic expression from so many terms. Naging two terms, two terms lamang po. And they are simple. There are words in algebraic expression that lead to addition. So here are some examples. Sum for addition. What else? More than. What else? Increase. What else? Plus. What else? Altogether. Okay? If there are words that lead in addition, there are also words that lead in subtraction. For example, we have decreased. Less, difference, 
minor. For example, you are instructed or you are given a verbal quiz and you write the algebraic expression of this phrase or transforming a phrase to algebraic expression. For example, they say 10 more than a number. 10 more than a number, so that number, we don't know what is that number. So it's up to you to give a representation or a variable or a symbol for that variable. So 10 more than a number, you can say that it is n plus 10. What else? A number decreased by 5. A number decreased by 5. So what do you do? That number, you just give a representation and it was decreased by 5. Five. So what will you do? I can say that number is W and then decreased by 5. So it is minus 5. Okay? What else? If, it, if they say it is 6 less than a number. Oh, 6 less than a number. Take note. 6 less than a number. So what is that number? It is, we can say it is X and less than. Okay? So kaya X less than 6. Or 6 less than a number. So, mauna po yung x and then minus 6. Ganun po. Now, what if it says there a number increased by 8? A number increased by 8. So, you can say that number or the symbol for that number is n. Okay? And it increased by 8. So, it is n plus 8. Also, if it says there the sum of a number and 9. The sum of a number and nine, number and nine. The sum, meaning that number, we can say that is n plus nine. The sum, the sum of a number and nine. What else? Four more than a number. Four more than a number. More than a number. Four more than a number. Mauuna po yung number, yung symbol, kung yung variable mo. So it will be y, pwede y, and then more than 4. Okay? So it is plus 4 or y plus 4. That is how we transform a verbal phrase, verbal phrase, to algebraic expression. Thank you.